when can I take you out on a date? How different is your life since you started creating content? What's up, Savvy? You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. Ooh, hey, it's your girl, Marie. And you already know I'm back dropping that motherfucking heat. So never miss a motherfucking beat. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. How are you? Over here, we do all things plus size, all things curvy. Because if it's not the heavy weight, then you're going the wrong way. The wrong way. But it's okay. I'm here to put you back on the right track. I got you. Tap me in, friend. Tap me in. I got you. So, y'all already see the title in the thumbnail. Today, I will be doing a QA. and a I've been asking on Instagram for a couple of days now. Like, drop questions, drop juicy questions. Before we get into it, you know, you need to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the kid on all social media so you never miss a motherfucking vibe. Period. Simple. Straight to the point. Let's get to it. So, before I get into y'all questions, I just want to give y'all a little rundown about me, who I am, what I do. My name is Marie with two e's baby if you drop that e i will drop you okay some respect on my motherfucking name um i am 28 years old i will be 29 december 31st mark your motherfucking calendars because i promise you you've been celebrating me before you knew it was about me <laughs> so now that you met me we can celebrate together my favorite color is purple I'm really not gonna lie, my, my top colors are purple and pink and turquoise, but no shade, I like all the colors. <laughs> Cause they all mean different things and depending on how I'm feeling and what I'm going through, my colors tend to change. So, um, I'm very resilient. Um, nobody puts baby in the corner. I am a social media influencer. I've been doing influencing for about, shit seven years honestly taking it full time though probably about a year what's another fun fact about me i love to dance i love to dance i love to drink okay so i was born in newark delaware uh, i'm always putting on for my city even though i ain't never home i love delaware like if i could move back i would if i could live there i would trust me it's in the works okay. One of the questions is, well, I'm gonna shout you guys out as I read the questions because I appreciate y'all asking. So my girl, Tisha Marie, hey boo. You said, if I could tell my 16 year old self advice, what would it be? It would be, everything isn't what it seems and trust your gut. It's crazy that you asked me about the age of 16 because a lot happened to me at the age of 16. Next question to Jay-Z underscore NC. When can I take you out on a date? Why do you want to take me out on a date? Hopefully I'm saying her name right. SMA one, what are three positive things you can say about yourself that you value and growth wise? Three things that I can say I value about myself is learning the difference between silence is golden and letting somebody try you. And what I say by that is I'm very, I'm a social introvert every time. So that is one thing that I value, learning the difference of when silence is golden and knowing when not to like show that you care too much, when not to overdo it, when not to be like, I'm more mad about your situation than you versus not saying nothing and motherfuckers is really trying me. So that's one thing that I do value in myself. Another thing that I value that I've realized with my growth is my resilience. My account has commas now and it's gonna have more commas later. But it's not gonna change the fact of me being resourceful and resilient. Like, just because I got it, don't mean I have to. Learning how to shut out the noise is something that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself in. Like, family, friends, people that I do let in on my intermediate, their opinions matter to me. Their voice of reasoning is something that I like. I hold on to. But as I get older, I'm realizing that I'm giving the wrong titles to the wrong people. So. I'm learning not when to say certain stuff. Just learning where to place people at in my life. But those are the three things that I do pride myself on and positive things that I feel like I'm learning about myself. Okay, so this is the same person because she did ask a lot of questions. What do you want to pursue out of being a social media content creator? What I want to pursue out of being a social media content creator is modeling, acting. I can't sing. Because <laughs> you know everybody be like, modeling, acting, singing. No, that's not me. It's really modeling, acting, and dancing. I would love to be a choreographer or a dancer on a stage. Getting into modeling now and I absolutely am finding a different type of love for it. Like, 
it's fun it's exhilarating like it's just dope when you're doing things you don't really think how much impact it has to somebody until you do it and it's done and it's like i'm different like not only am i a plus size influencer but i'm a plus size influencer that doesn't have the ideal body type or the ideal look or the ideal you know what i'm saying like go to like who gives a fuck like i chose to be a social media influencer but i will not allow y'all to make me feel less than myself in order for me to fit in with y'all no i got to this point because i don't look like you and i'm gonna keep rocking that like who wants to fit in that shit boring whack <laughs> Do I want more children? Yes, I do. I want a lot of children. Um, you know that saying, you don't know, you don't know what you got until it's gone. That's kind of where I am where it comes to kids. Um, I was in college. It seemed like fertile as fuck. <laughs> now I'm like 28, 29, and it just seems impossible, like unreachable, un unattainable, like a challenge it, it really feels like a challenge so once that gate does open and god gives me the go ahead i'm popping them out am i single y'all can ask me this question forever like am i single i don't know am i seaway to it talk about yourself and do a makeup but follow back okay so he just wanted to follow back that he probably still ain't got so next question where do i see myself in the next year um in the next year i see myself happy in my in one of my one of my best homes with everything that i put my hands on winning so social media businesses branding deals like getting flued out to do shit like that's that's the goal acting gigs choreography gigs i need everybody to be everybody needs me that's that's the goal okay so this is a good question how did i get started in modeling honestly um modeling found me and i think that's the craziness about it because it's similar to how youtube found me i really wasn't a picture person type of girl i would mostly do reels in the outfits dance in the outfits because that's what i like to do like i like to dance um, but I'm not gonna lie, the older that I get, it seems like to make a TikTok that includes dance trends is, is a whole nother task in itself. So, I don't know, for some reason, it just kept pushing me into get ready with me, things that involve like modeling aspects. And once I started taking pictures and taking my own pictures at that, and it was easy, it just was like, ooh, is this a thing? Is this, is this thing called modeling? Is this what that is? Oh, baby you should have so next thing i knew like i saw that they were doing a uh i saw that a company body excel shout out to y'all was doing a model house and it was like you want to get more intel you want to know how to do it you want to know how to pose and it included a photo shoot i was like what the fuck that's the great the creme de la creme i got social media down hands down i got that bitch on lock modeling on the leg help us out so that's kind of how i got into it it found me and i just with me like i'm a capricorn y'all so when i like some shit i take it and run with it like i just go like just go if i think about it too long it ain't never gonna be done so i just go what do you think is the hardest thing about being a plus size influencer the hardest thing consistency oh my god that was an honest answer, y'all. <laughs> Consistency is the hardest thing. Like, my subbies, y'all know, even like my followers on Instagram, like, y'all know. I will post, 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 post. And then for like a day, maybe two, maybe three, depending on what I got going on, I go missing. And it's only because it's just me like i do everything that y'all see i come up with the content for tiktoks reels whatever i create the youtube videos i make the thumbnails i edit the videos i like promote 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 like 
I do it all. And unless I get time to really sit down and schedule out everything for that week, it be hit or miss. Because I promise you, I'll get done with one thing, then I'm still like have to cook dinner, I have to do this, I have to do that. Like I do a lot, like y'all, I do so much. Then my live videos, I go live here and there. It's <laughs> consistency is the hardest thing. The hardest thing. Like I need one app to schedule all content. What advice would you give people starting it out and want to become influencers? Do it. That's the best advice I could give you, honestly. Do it. Whatever you think, whatever you want, whatever you see, whatever you envision, do it. So don't ever think your idea is stupid or your idea is not worth posting. Just do it. Like Your perception is what makes people want to fuck with you, honestly. Your perception, the way you do things, the way you live, everybody does everything differently. And it gives a different look on things when you do it. So just do it. And also, I also did a video on um, how to become a Buzz Eyes influencer. I'll link that video in this video as well. So you can go check that out after you watch this one. What are my short term goes for myself? Um, honestly, I got a lot. All I'm gonna say is Vegas. <laughs> Very short term goal, Vegas. Um, of course, hitting 100k on YouTube so that I can get my first plaque. Um, my birthday, so I don't even know where I'm going yet, but it's up there. Financial literacy, honestly, and well, like I have a child, I'm planning on having more kids. I want them to be able to know, like you fuck up you good you know what i'm saying like yeah you invested in this but it's all right you still straight like i want my kids to be able to understand what it's like to have the world as your playground not being afraid of the world long-term goals of course would be to get married to have my kids to buy my dream house that i want to build or build my dream house well honestly that's a long-term goal well what has been my favorite collaboration so far Far. I got two. I would say Body XL, of course, for this year, and No Fashion Style. Take the time to actually repost you and send you that love and like let you know like they see you. It's a great feeling. So those will be my two so far. You are so comfortable in front of the camera. What's the secret? Yeah, I'm very comfortable because it's a lifestyle. Content creating is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Like, I've had people run up on me like, can I get a picture? And it's like, <laughs> I know that face probably was like, bitch, what? That's how I be feeling, like. <laughs> so, I'm comfortable now, but again, I've been doing this on and off. So, how different is your life since you started creating content? Ooh, my life is different. <laughs> my life is different the way I live because Everybody comes to you with a motive. Everybody comes to you with a scheme. Uh, you know that saying, salt and sugar look the same? That's my life. So it makes me very, very, very cautious of everything. But my life definitely has changed. Uh, people walk up on me all the time like they know me. How do I deal with negative comments? I don't. <laughs> like, if I, could, if I can say some foul ass shit and get Beyonce to talk to me, I would do it. Because Beyonce has talked to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're a fan, and I'm not saying like y'all per se because y'all are my sub, we are family. But when you're a fan, when you're a fan and you just here just to say shit, I'm not giving you the satisfactions. I feel like responding lets you know that you got me. Never let you, I would never let you see me sweat. Ever. Ever. Silence is golden. Like, I have people that I see all the time I post. They're the first ones to comment with some mean ass shit. And it's like, but you don't miss a post. Thanks for your engagement. How do you stay positive when you spend so much time online as an influencer? Um, Energy. Like, I'm big on energy. Like, again, I'm an earth sign. I'm a Capricorn. Like, I don't let everybody affect my energy. I wear my feelings on my sleeve. I care hard. I love hard. Once I do give a fuck about you, 
again, but you will never see me motherfucking sway. Never. 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 So I just, I like to be happy. Like my life is great. <laughs> my life is great. Like bills pay. I get great dick. Like life is great. My kid happy. He ain't hurting for nothing. Life is, life is what it is. Like it's great. So I just keep that in mind. Like misery loves company y'all. Why would I allow you to make me miserable? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. I hope you guys know me a little bit better from this q and A. I I love y'all. I want y'all to know who y'all fucking with. You feel me? So cheers to y'all. So cheers to y'all. Stay tuned because the content will keep coming. Content gonna keep coming. Tell a friend to tell a friend to fuck with the kid because over here we all about vibes and we never miss a vibe. Okay? If you got any more questions that I didn't touch on, let me know in the comment box down below. And I'll maybe do a part two for you. You already know what the fuck going on. We start here. If you don't love you, who the fuck will? Until next time, Sunny. Peace. Uh, 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 uh. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.